Oh, LB. How's that knee doing? Yeah, it's better. Oh, so why are you still here? I mean, better than bad, which is still, you know, not good. All right, Andy. Why don't you tell me what's really going on? My shelter voucher doesn't start till Saturday, so I got four days on the streets, so I thought... We're a hospital. You don't warrant an overnight stay. Yeah, just, just do some more digging. There's got to be something else wrong with me. I'm a very unhealthy person. You paged? Uh, yeah. Yeah, is uh, now a bad time for both of you? Oh, yeah. What do you got? You said you wanted to know the next time a frequent flyer came in. Yeah, frequent flyers mean we're not doing our job. Oh, well, then you're in luck. Meet the Amelia Earhart of frequent flyers, Andy Keener. How can I help? Your chemo bag is making people nervous. Yeah, sorry, just one more hour. And by people, I mean me. Did you know that Andy Keener has been in this hospital over 100 times? He's a frequent flyer. My math is correct, and I'm pretty sure that it is. Andy Keener has cost New Amsterdam $1.4 million this year. And we haven't done a thing to help him. Andy Keener has rung up over a million dollars in charges here at New Amsterdam. That is enough for 50,000 prenatal visits, two liver transplants, or, you know, one NBA contract. How do we lower this number right there? Don't look at me. We've had over 30 visits and three surgeries for a foot ulcer. Well, he walks around all day. He can't keep his foot elevated. Plus, bandages fall off, antibody creams get lost. Okay, Bloom, ED is number one in the hospital encounters hit parade. My ED is open 24-7, so if he wants to get out of the rain or snow or sun or get a hot meal, then... Got it. Neurology. 10 EEGs and 18 head CT scans this year alone. All indicated and necessary. And he falls and gets beaten up and has a withdrawal seizure. EMTs bring him in and we give him the same evaluation we would give to anyone else. Yeah, Helen, you can't tell me that all these biopsies were necessary. Well, if we don't have a patient's family history, then all concerns have to be taken seriously. Psychiatry, help me out. There's got to be a way to save a dollar. Just one dollar. Uh, no, no can do, Doc. Andy suffers from PTSD and depression. An abusive child that will do that to you. Not to mention he is an alcoholic, multiple detox stays. Okay, so what everyone is telling me is that not only was there no way to avoid spending $1.4 million on Andy Keener this year, but apparently there is no way to avoid spending another $1.4 million on Andy Keener next year. Hello? We've been trying to help Andy Keener entirely the wrong way. Are you screaming right now or is it just me? I figured out what to give him. Andy? Gee. Um, we have done you a great disservice. You guys have the best service in New York. Every time you've come to this hospital, we have focused on treating a whole host of symptoms. I'd give you five stars on Yelp if I had a computer. That ends today, Scripps. The uh, fatigue, stress, heart arrhythmia, malnutrition, you name it. Each of these symptoms is the result of you not having a stable living environment. And this cure will fix all of that. Mr. Keener, I am prescribing you a home. It's safe to come all the way in. Oh, will you look at that? Still works, good to know. I haven't made myself a cup of coffee in decades. Look, Andy, uh, I know this place isn't much, but... No. It's an awful lot, Dr. Goodwin. When do I need to uh, be out of here? <laughs> no, uh, this isn't temporary. Andy, this place is yours. As long as you want it. Just no pets. Other than that, you make the rules. All of this is mine? Home, Andy. Charge 
Andy? You gonna take away my apartment? No. I don't know what to do. I, I guess I just like it here. I think we're the only ones. You are always welcome here. When you're sick. And when you're not sick, we have a lot of people that we have to take care of, and that's just the way it has to be. I'll, I'll leave. No problem. Excuse me. S sorry, does anyone know how to get to the ICU? Uh, dude, you can't get to the 12th floor from this building. You, get, you gotta take the elevator to the third floor, then take the breezeway to Harriman. Then you take the second set of elevators to 12. Then you walk to the end of the hall. Thanks, man. You're a lifesaver. Andy, <laughs> do you know how to get to the oncology ward? Of course, I've had many of the non-existent tumor examined there. How'd you like to start paying off that apartment? How? By spending a little more time at New Amsterdam. 